Hello friends, welcome to my channel Grammarian Bhai and today let's solve specimen paper 7th of class 12 from total English book. So as usual, you go through by the question number 1 and 2. Let me directly begin from the question number 3. So in question number 3, the first sentence is completed. We have to complete the second sentence. So let's begin. So the first one, although it was a summer, it was cold. So the second sentence could be, despite being a summer, comma, it was cold. B, only Shakespeare could write such a tragedy. So here second sentence would be, no one but only Shakespeare could write such a tragedy. C. I play both tennis and squash. So here second sentence would be not only tennis but also I play squash. D. Their dog is too friendly to be an effective guard dog. So the second sentence would be their dog is so friendly that it cannot be an effective guard dog. Number E. We did not know that Mr. Kutti was living for Utti. So here second sentence would be little did we know that Mr. Kutti was living for Utti. Second one fill in the blanks with a suitable word. So the first one Nancy haggled with the shopkeeper over the price of the book. B. After haggling over the cost, she finally brought the book. C. The offer was not good enough, so I turned it off or down. D. Ruma was idly turning on the pages of a magazine. B. Lata hunted for her lost book everywhere but could not find it. F. Fleeing villages were hunted down by army helicopters. My teacher is an authority on or over history of ancient India. As a chairperson, she had authority over the manager. Have you heard of your old teacher? Please hear me out before you judge me. Next, number three, here fill the blanks in the passage given below with the appropriate form of the verb given in brackets. So you read the passage. Let me provide you the solutions. So the first one was, second were, third rounded, fourth molded, fifth would have been grieved, sixth rested, seventh deepened, 8th was framed, ninth felt, and 10th strayed. Next question number 4. This is the comprehension passage. You read the passage. Let me provide you the solutions. So the first one here, you have to find out the similar word meaning from the given passage. So the first one, aimlessly, which means idly, through, hurled, Third, spoke about something in an indirect way, which means alluded. Number B here, you have to find out the different meaning from the passage, the given word in a sentence. So the first one, train. So here we could take option D. Next, station. So here option C could be taken. Third track, so here option A could be taken. Next one, number three here, answer the following questions in your own words as briefly as possible. So the first one, why don't you think Pescud threw the book on the floor? So the answer could be Pescud threw the book on floor because he did not agree with the story written in the book, The Rose Lady and Trevelyan. For him, it was something unusual to real life. B. Explain briefly Pescut's views 
on best sellers so the answer could be Peskert's views on best sellers was quite critical he was also critical about the people who buy the best sellers in large number the best sellers book according to him did not relate with the real life number c what efforts did pescud make to win over the colonial's daughter so the answer could be pescud kept on observing and noticing about the movement of the girl he also went to her village and gathered all the information he also met her on the third day and tried to get her to like he also met with her father and married her with his consent next number 3 here you have to write not more than 100 words and explain or summarize how pescud shows that there are no social or geographical barriers in life so the answer could be pescud narrates his own story in which he shows that there are no social or geographical barriers in life he happens to see a beautiful girl but never talks with her while traveling but he never loses the track of her he even goes to her village gets the information about her and her family finally on the third day he meets with her and tries to get her to like him he meets her father who was a british nobleman he marries her though he was a hunter breaking down all the social and geographical barriers of life and if you think the video is helpful to you please subscribe the channel and like the video